What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, Ray Nation? Man, it is your boy, Byron, man. Uh, we get a win against the Denver Broncos Monday night at O.co. Basically, there's a lot of speculations that it could be the last. I think it actually is the last game. I don't think Oakland going to budge. But to be honest, man, that was the most I've seen this team have heart this whole season. It starts off with John Gruden going up to the black hole and giving handshakes and all that. And just the game felt different, man. It really did. Just from the beginning. Shout out to Dwayne Harris, man. Ball like at the one yard line on that punt return. He grabs it, takes it all the way to the house. At that moment, man, I knew we were gonna win this game. I just I just had I just had the feeling. As we all know, our offensive tackles are are not good this year. And the fact that we only give up one sack to Bradley Chubb. When Bradley Chubb got that sack, I was like, dang, it might be a long game. There was not another sack the whole game, y'all. So they were blocking for Carr. Jordy Nelson, man, who's been the most MIA person on his offense, man, came through today. Doug Martin at offensive line. Like I said, there was just something different about the team today. And I think it was because this was the last game at O.co. Doug Martin was getting off, bro. The defense was playing lit, bro. We got two picks. We got one with Eric Harris, man. I mean, is that his name? Yes, yeah, Eric Harris. Eric Harris, man. Second straight game in a row. Just, I was, I was hoping. I'm, I'm be honest. I was hoping we were gonna lose the rest of the game so we could get a better draft pick. But after, you know. Everything we've gone through, man, and the fact that this is the last game of the season, I was like, we have to get, I mean, not the last game, the last game at O.co for the season. That's what I meant to say. We had to get that win, bro, and it felt good, man. It, and, 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 and also, man, I just want to point this out, man. Ten straight games, Derek Carr has not had an interception. Yes, they might be dink and dunk passes, but the fact that he's not turned the ball over, maybe he's getting a groove into the system. So... We're, we're, we're doing good, man. We're, we're slowly doing we're slowly doing better. And another thing, was it just me, y'all? Can y'all please comment below? Was it just me, man? Or was these announcers, bro? I mean, my, my goodness, bro. Like, I, I understand, man. I, I understand they have to talk about the Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper trades. I understand that. Like I said, I understand they're going to have to talk about it. Ha ha, laughing stock, you gave up Khalil Mack, yeah. Which I have even said was the worst decision. And I still think that to this day. I still think that to this day. That's just me. Still think to that day, that trade will fuck us up. Khalil Mack is balling out with the Bears. Mark Cooper's doing his thing with the Cowboys. But my God, the, fu the fact they had to talk about it like 90 times the first time, I was like, all right, saw it coming. The second time, all right, saw it coming. Oh, they don't have any pass rushers. They don't have any pass rushers. Oh, uh, you, you, you traded your pass rushers. Like, no fucking shit, nigga. We know this. We know. Okay, it was cool the first time. I understand. I, I understand every game this year they were going to talk about it. For sure. Cool. But it was like, what was it? Talking about it eight, nine, ten different times? Oh, they, they had a wide receiver in Maury Cooper, but he's with the Cowboys. No fucking shit, bruh. Like, did y'all have no other material to talk about with the Raiders? Like, did y'all just show up going like, you know, we don't want to talk about the Raiders. I really don't want to talk about it. Let's talk about these damn trades in Gruden. I've even, y'all know me. I'm the biggest one that does not fuck with Gruden. I don't. I hope he wins. I hope these trades work out. I really hope they do. I'm even putting this nigga on the hot seat because it's like you putting a lot of pressure on yourself. I get it. But the fact they were talking about the Gruden, bro, it was like all four quarters. It was summer. Gruden's got to have to prove himself. Gruden's going to have to prove himself. Like, can y'all talk about the game? Can y'all talk about what's going on in the game? Like, my damn goodness, man. And then on the quarterbacks. Case Keenum's a good guy. You just got to put pieces around him. But you can win with him. You can win with him if you put pieces around him. You put pieces around him, you can win. And then with Derek Carr, it's like, he's a good quarterback, but we haven't seen him be that, you know, we have to see him actually take shots downfield. It was like, I get it, bro. You say it one time. For sure, I get it. You're announcing you can't be biased. I know as a Raider fans, it pisses us off. But I understand you have to talk about this stuff. I get it. For sure. 
But the whole damn segment, bro, that's all y'all. That's like, God damn, bro. Like, that was all y'all could talk about. Like, we won the game. I don't even think they covered that. Well, they won the game, but, you know, those draft picks, like. But, you know, I, I can't complain because, you know, we knew this would happen trading those two players. I don't like talking about the fucking trades because they're not here no more. Khalil's with the Bears. Mars with the uh, with the Cowboys. I wish them both the best of luck. I don't hate him. I don't hate Cooper at all. I don't hate Khalil Mack at all. I wish them nothing but the best, except when they play us. When they play us, I hope they have the worst games of their career. But other than that, I hope everything goes well with them. I ain't mad at Mack. I ain't mad at Coop. Still love both of them niggas. It just is what it is. But, my God, it was just like... And then you heard the, the, the laughing in the booth anytime it was talked about us, but I understand. I, like I said, I understand. What we did is laughable to me. Yes, we got the picks. And he, they, were, they were saying facts sometimes. They're like, yeah, you can have all the picks in the world, but you got to have the players. You got to, you know, have that and develop. I understand it. But to talk about it for four damn quarters, fam. Four quarters. We talked about in the first quarter. Cool. For sure. I understand. Second quarter. All right, you kind of pissed me off. Third quarter, it's like, all right, nigga, get off our dick. Fourth quarter, it was like, is there anything else y'all need to talk about? Y'all want to watch the game that's going on or y'all want to keep talking about this shit? Sorry. Uh, it's, I, sh I should be happy because we won the game. I should, but like, I'm sorry, man. Y'all let me know if I'm crazy or not, man. That, it, oh my God, it just drove me insane. After a while, it was just like, cool, bro. We get it. We're not a good team this year. We get it. We made dumb decisions. I still think it's a dumb decision. I get it. But there's a fucking game going on between the Denver Broncos and the Oakland Raiders. Let's talk about that because that's what's actually happening right now. Y'all had no other material. Like, nobody did other research. They just sat there and was just like, uh. So, about those Gruden picks. They're like, God damn. But anyways, man, I'm not going to let that fuck up my vibe. I'm not even going to. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to get upset over over that, but it, it was it was getting on my nerves, man. It was, it was really getting on my nerves for all fourth quarters. But anyway, Doug Martin balled out. Derek Carr didn't turn the ball over. Ten straight games, he hasn't thrown an interception, fam. We only gave up one sack with our offensive line, and we know we've had probably one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL. Defense came out and balled, man. Two picks. Eric Harris and uh, Gilchrist, Marcus Gilchrist, man. Shout out to both of y'all, especially Eric Harris, man. I like your story, man. Uh, I'm probably going to do a future video on Eric Harris uh, in the offseason. Um, we've won four games, y'all. I don't know where this puts us in, like, draft position or nothing like that yet. Um, we got one last game, man. Next week, we go to Arrowhead Stadium, and we have to play the Chiefs. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a tough game, but fuck it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to recap it. Oh, oh, yes. Also, sorry for not doing the last two recaps. I'm going to be 100% honest. I didn't feel like doing them. The Pittsburgh game, I didn't feel like doing the recap, so I didn't do it. The Cincinnati game, I remember I had all time in the world. I was home by myself for hours, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it in an hour. I'm going to do the recap in another hour. Like, I just never did it. I, I got lazy. Sorry about that. I ain't going to do that no more. So, yeah. Anyways, Red Nation, let me know what y'all thought about the game. Let me know in the comment section, am I tripping about the about how the announcers were calling? I don't know. It was just me. I don't know if it was just me, man, but it was just like, there's a damn game going on. Like, talk about it. Yes, I understand y'all going to talk about the situations that we're in. Yes, but for four damn court. Sorry, I ain't even going to go there no more. But y'all let me know in, in, in the comments, man. Y'all please let me know if I... Uh, I was tripping or not. But anyways, y'all, love y'all, Raider Nation. Glad we got the dub. Last game at O.co, man. Don't know where the hell we going to play next year, but y'all already know, man. It's Raider Nation, man. Love y'all, man. And tune into the next video. I'll be back next week. Peace, y'all.